Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about a very important connector which is called Power Apps for Makers connector. And this connector is available both in Power Automate and Power Apps. But before starting this uh, video and showing you the demo, I just want to tell you the motivation behind this video and the solution basically. So what happens generally is that um, customers always ask for sharing the app with multiple users or let's say a group in the UAT environment. Um, in the production, you can definitely use AD groups or IDM groups in your environment. But especially let's say for dev environment or quality environment or UAT environment, if there are very limited users and you want to share the app with them. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate that, that process. So this is the connector basically Power Apps for makers and it is available in both Power Automate and Power Apps. And it has a lot of action, multiple actions are available within this connector. One of them which I'm going to use and showcase today in this video is Edit App Role Assignment. And the purpose of this particular action is to set the permissions to a power app. So this is the basically video all about. So let's see this in action. So for that, what I've done is um, at the back end, I've created a SharePoint online list, which is app sharing. This is just the name of the list. Here I've created two columns. One is the users column. Another is the app name column. Users column is of a type person or group and app name is a choice column. Now in this column choice column, I have added the choices, which is basically the name of the apps which are available in my environment, particular environment. So you can have, let's say three, four n number of values in this choice column. And similarly, this is a person or group type field. Now this is currently the list is currently blank because I have used um, a power automate flow when a uh, trigger, when an item is created in this particular list that particular flow will trigger and execute and it will basically share uh, the particular app with those users which we will add here. So um, these are the basically different apps which are available in my environment and let's say I will show you just for the demo purpose this particular app. If I click on share currently you see here that this is only shared with one user which is Whipple which is me in my case. Now what I want to do is my scenario is that I want to share this particular app with multiple uh, users, not manually, but through automation using Power Automate. So let's see this in action. So this is the Power Automate which I have created. This is the trigger basically as I mentioned when an item is created. You can specify your site address and the list name. List name is app sharing. This is very simple. Uh, next step is next action is I have created a variable where app id which will store the app id for different apps so in this case please remember you have to first identify the app id of the different apps how you can do that you can just select the app in the power apps and click on details the moment you click on details you can see the app url as well and there is something called app id as well so you have to get the app id first of all um, that is why i have created this variable and then for setting the variable, I have used a switch condition. In the switch condition, you can add different cases, basically different um, conditions you can add. So first is for one of the app, I am setting a variable with that particular app ID. Similarly, this case is for a different app um, having a different app ID. So that is how you can add different apps um, in the switch case and with a particular app ID. So this is my switch case. The switch case I am running on particularly the app name, which is coming from my trigger output. So when an item is uh, when an item is created, I use the trigger. In that, I have a column called app name in the list. That's why I can use this value on on property of the switch. So till here we have completed this. Now the most important part: how to share or edit the app assignment or set the permission for that particular power app. So here what you have to do is first of all you have to get the user ID now why you have to get the user ID I will tell you now so let's say I add an action for example I search for um, Entra because now Azure AD is now called Entra ID so Microsoft Entra ID you will see here and you will see all the actions which are available in this particular uh, Entra ID Microsoft Entra ID 
what we have to use is use the get user i have to get the user from my azure active directory or entra id so the moment you add get user so for example it asks for the user id or principal name now you have to specify the uh, id or the principal name of the user which you want to get so you can get it basically from your um, users column which you created in the sharepoint list now please remember whenever you create a person or group type field so let me show you here whenever you create a person or group type field you get three properties related to it which is claims display name and email so in this case i have to get the email of the user moment i add the email of the user it takes me to a loop basically apply to each loop which is absolutely fine so it is basically on the output property of the user's email get user and then i have to add the um, connector which is basically i showed you this connector which is power apps for maker so let's add that connector now what you have to do you have to search for for example um, power apps in power automate flow and here you see you will get multiple options one of them is power apps for admin and another is power apps for makers now power apps for admin if you want to use really then you have to be a tenant admin a system customizer and system administrator role so in this case you can use power apps for maker um, action as well so the moment you add this trigger there are multiple actions which are available one of them is edit app role assignment so let's add this action now for this edit app role assignment basically it ask for the id of the user and that's why we have used this um enter id action to get the user id so here you have to pass the power app name this basically this is not the name this is the id of the app so you have already created um the id uh, variable where app id and you have already set it in the switch condition so you can definitely use it as the where app id api version is by default so you don't have to change anything here filter query it asks for environment equal to some value now how to find the environment basically in the url if you see this is your um, environment which you can definitely copy and paste here so after environments in the url you can find uh, your environment which you can definitely pass here content type will remain the same you don't have to change anything now the most important properties so it asks for the email of the user tenant id of the user id of the user right so email of the user you can get it from the current item because we are already in the apply to each loop so you can specify here um if i show you dynamically you can see here that um apply to each current item so this will be your um email of the user tenant id of the user now what is the tenant id how to get the tenant id now if you want to know the tenant id you go to power apps you go to the details of that particular app and in the web link that is the app url of that particular app you see something here called tenant id so you can copy this tenant id from here and you can paste that tenant id here id of the user id of the user you can get it um from the get user action which is related to entra id and another is that notify share target option so basically if you specify a string here simple string as notify this is a word or a string which you can specify so what it will do it will also send the email to that particular user uh, that this app has been shared with you it is an optional field whether you want to specify or not it's up to you then the most important thing is the role generally what happens we give the user role or the co-owner role basically so you can specify what role you want to specify so you can write here can edit so i can write here for example can edit which becomes the which becomes uh, the co-owner the user becomes the co-owner i can write can view so it will be just the user access i can write for example can view with share so these are the multiple options or the strings which you can add in this particular um property so that is how you can specify it now uh, i am just deleting this action and because i have already added it i have already added it this one particularly so you can see here get user i am just passing the user email in the edit role assignment i have already specified all the values once you add it you will see it in the json format or a object or a record format basically so email is the current item i already told you tenant id you can pass your tenant id id of the user which you can get from the entra entra id action and the role name can edit so basically i am making the user or users basically co-owner the interesting part in this video is that um this users column you can add multiple users here it's not like that that you can share it 
uh, one by one with the all the users you can add multiple user in single item or a single row or a single record and the app will be that particular app will be shared with those users so this is all about the uh, flow or the different actions and triggers which i have used now let's see this in action so let's test it um currently my app which i showed you this particular app which is pdf reader it is only shared with me uh, which is vipul uh, is the username what we will do we will test this flow um it is saying that to test it i have to create a new item in the sharepoint list which is absolutely correct what i will do i will create a new item in my um sharepoint list uh, i will say title you can give anything test demo let's say i add multiple users here in my tenant or environment let's say megan is the user or lee is the user i want to share with them as the owner this particular app which app i want to share let's say pdf reader and just i click on save so i have created a record or item or an entry in the sharepoint online list just one record with multiple users now what it will do the app will start executing or running um let's wait for this flow to execute and we will see the output you can see here the flow ran successfully um and it must have shared the app with those two user which i specified in the sharepoint list so let's see the output i am just refreshing the power app studio once so let's see the pdf reader app which we specified in the sharepoint online list so this is the pdf reader app which i wanted to share with multiple users so let's see this share and let's see the classical sharing and this app must have been shared with two more users megan and lee as co-owner so you can see this app has been shared and this we have achieved in an automated way using a connector which is called power apps for maker and we have created an automated flow that's all in this video thanks for watching and keep automating